What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Dogecoin. Uh, we've got some, some exciting things to talk about in this video, you guys. So hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you all for being here. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to use the USDT chart on Binance. It doesn't have as much historical data, but it's got more volume. Um, so might find more significance there for looking at volume, right? And we are going to look at volume because this is the first week... We've got 20 hours and three minutes left this week, right? We're on the weekly time frame. It is Sunday, uh, the 20th of October. This week is the first week that we've been above average volume. I wish TradingView just got rid of these buttons. Who who uses these buttons? They're annoying. They just suck. Like, get get rid of them, man. Um, I don't know. Like, really? Like, I, I don't know, man. It just seems... So, anyways, um, getting distracted here. This is the only volume that we've, oh my goodness, <laughs> the only volume that we've gotten that's been above average since May, right, of, of this year. Um, coming out of this, what looks to be a downtrend, it does look like a breakout move. This looks like the real deal, right? I've been skeptical of every move up, really. Um, like basically every move up from this move, I've just been skeptical, right? This is the first time that I'm actually thinking this could be, this could be the real deal. And what I mean by the real deal, you guys, is this could be the beginning of one of Dogecoin's very famous uh, Dogecoin rallies, right? When I say very famous, I just mean like this is what it does, right? It goes down, it's boring, and then it's very exciting for a short amount of time. And then it goes down, it moves sideways, and it's boring, and then it explodes for a very short amount of time, right? I think we are literally, potentially this month, igniting that flame to this next uh this next dogecoin rally all that to say dogecoin's at 14.15 cents right now up 27 percent this week it's a little bit late to make this call i think but but i think it's a good time to get in i think that as far as uh as far as opportunities go for dogecoin things prices below 10 cents i think are off the table now I think if you're looking to buy Dogecoin, again, this is probably a fair price, but we are at previous areas of support, previous areas of resistance, current areas of resistance, right? If we look at the high to the low here, right around the 61869 area. If you want to buy here, again, not a bad area, I think, especially given the consideration that I think Dogecoin will be worth more than multiple dollars, like more than $3 by the end of the cycle. I think it could even reach as high as like around $5, but below that, above four, but below $5. If not, at least I do think it'll break $2, right? We're at 14 cents now. Decent price to buy, okay? But if you're patient, it might go up just a little bit more and then it might pull back down just a little bit more. It's not that crazy, but if you consider it like this, right? You're at 14.13 cents right now. You could buy it at a 4.38% uh, cheaper price or potentially if it were to pull all the way back to the 382, that could be a 15% cheaper price from the price it's at now. So. That doesn't seem too worth it in my opinion, but but again, that's just from this current price. Um, if we're looking at it, you know, going from the 618, because I, I do believe that it's going to move up to the 618 first. I think you're going to continue, hit this zone first, and then pull back to your 0.5 or your 382, one of those two. Um, and I think from there, obviously, the risk to, or not, not the risk to reward, the, uh, the, the reward to waiting to buy, I think would be more prominent. Whereas here it's only at a 4% difference. So it's not, it's not that significant in my opinion. Um, but genuinely speaking, Dogecoin could move down, could move back down to 12 cents. That is, that is on the table still. I think prices below 10 cents are off the table, but below 12 cents or at least around 12 cents, I think is still on the table. So, um, with that in mind, Again, great time to buy now, sure, but if you're patient, you might be able to snag lower prices if you're okay with waiting for it to move up a little bit in the meantime. Let's look at the uh, the daily and the weekly RSI, four-hour RSI, and then let's get on with this, or let's be done with this. Um, weekly RSI is looking very bullish, kind of at an area that you found resistance before. It'd be interesting to see if today pulls back a little bit. You might close a little bit lower, and if you do, You've closed at this exact area three other times, and that, that did promote some resistance, so maybe it promotes resistance here. Um, inverse to that, you know, if you close today green, if you move up more today and you close green, this is even further away. It's going to be even further away from these tops. This could be that that could just be the signal that this really is the real deal and that we're not getting a pullback right now. It's going right now. Um, and either way, whether it's, whether it's going right now or it's going next week or three days from now, you know, like it's it's happening soon. It is happening very soon. I do believe Dogecoin's 
it's it's about to uh, get it get the uh, the social eye back on it, right? It's gonna be it's gonna be back under the lens of like like uh, attention. I, I don't know. I, f I feel like Dogecoin's been sleeping. It's been something that that people who liked Dogecoin last cycle, everybody talks about it still, but most market participants just kind of write it off as a one-off, right? They do that every single cycle, right? Every single cycle, I, I know because I've done this before. I was I was one of these people, right? Whenever it, it was down here, oh, it was a one-off. It'll never pump again. Then it pumped again. Oh, it was a one-off. It'll never pump again. And then it pumped again. Oh, it was a one-off. And it's like it's it's had three of these one-offs and it's kept pumping. It's actually one of the most bullish charts in crypto. Um, and even now, it's one. It's like just this phase is one of the most bullish charts in crypto, genuinely, out of the top 100. Um, there are plenty of charts that look more bullish than this too, don't get me wrong. But Dogecoin as a whole is, is a very bullish chart. I, I wouldn't see any other outcome for the end of this cycle other than something that is worth multiple dollars, genuinely. If you take an all-time high to the cycle low here, you can see that your 1272, that's your minimum expected target, that's at $1.54. Minimum expected target, sure, it could land there, but genuinely, I think 227 or higher, that's probably where you're gonna go, right? And you genuinely could go a little bit above the 1618 each cycle so far. It's been a while since I've done this, but uh, you know, from a high here to a low here, you moved up right to your 1618, but just above it, just a little bit above it, right? Right there. That cycle there from the all-time high to the cycle low, you moved up above the 1618 again, this time going all the way up to the 2272. But both cycles went above the 1618, okay? At least to it, if not just above it, right? High to low, same kind of idea. If we just do what we've done the last two cycles and at least reach the 1618, Last time we demolished that, went all the way to the 2272. I don't think Doge is going to be worth $23 by the end of this cycle. I think I think this is plenty. Um, but if it does like this cycle and it goes just above the 1618, you might see prices at just above $4, maybe even like getting close to $5, right? Um, the market cap for that, by the way, a lot of people are probably, if, if you're hearing this for the first time, you're like, you're crazy. That market, you know what that market cap would be? Yeah, I know. It's It's been a while since I've done the math, but it's something like around 600 to $700 billion, probably closer to 600 or 650 or something like that. It's a high market cap. It's a really high market cap. Probably overvalued even, right? But a lot of these cryptos are overvalued in my opinion. And Dogecoin is literally just a hype meme coin. That's all it is. Those ones have the most potential. Like if anything's gonna see an absurd market cap, it's the it's the hype coin, man. It's the hype coin. And this is the most dominant bullish hype coin in the space right now. And I think it's about to do what it's done every single cycle. I, I really do believe that, I mean, looking at it now, technically September <laughs> would have been the ignition. But I think this month is the the proof, the the validation, the green light, if you will, that that things are changing. That I do, I, I think we are, we are literally at the precipice of moving up here. And I've been saying for a while, I, I've expected that it would be November, if not like late October, but I was saying November that we would probably commence this move. Um, I did think that we would probably see prices below 10 cents even at this point in the month here. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by this pump already, but things are bullish in crypto, man. Random random coins are popping off left and right. Dogecoin's one of those coins that's you know up 26% this week. Some coins are being boring, some coins are being exciting, and Dogecoin's one of those coins that's being exciting. So um, I just wanna say again, this, I'm very confident, was a higher low that you're not gonna go below, right? This was right around, I mean, that low technically is at like eight cents, but where you closed, where all these uh, weeks closed here, that was right around nine and a half cents. I don't think you're gonna go anywhere near this. I don't think you're gonna go near 10 cents at all. I would genuinely be surprised if you got below 12 cents from here, um, but not surprised if you went to 12 cents. You, you genuinely could, because you do have areas, again, of support right at 12 cents, areas of resistance on a closing basis, you know, um, FIB levels that make sense for that as well. So, um, but this is Dogecoin. If you don't want to wait, I don't, I don't blame you because this could happen at any given point in time, man. Like, yeah, it, it, it likes to run. When it likes to run, it runs hard and it runs fast. And I think also if we're looking at this, no, okay. I was going to say, and it tops off before Bitcoin, but I don't think it does, right? Last cycle it did, it topped off in May, but the cycle before that it topped off in January. And then the cycle before that it topped off, I mean at the same time as Bitcoin, I think, or a little bit after Bitcoin, actually. January 2014. 
right? Yeah, a little bit after, a couple months after on that rate. So technically, actually, out of the last three cycles, or at least the last three peaks, this was the only one that came before Bitcoin topped off. Both of these came after. So maybe we'll see something more like this. I think this was crazy, right? I think this, the way that we moved and how intensely we moved, I think largely was driven by Elon Musk. I think we would have still had a crazy Dogecoin pump last cycle even without that, but I think it got absurd because of Elon Musk, okay? It's on the table now. Everything's out there. People people aren't going to be surprised by that. Elon Musk promoting Dogecoin, right? It's not as it's not as much of a shock value thing that one of the most, if not the most uh, wealthy man on the planet is advertising a meme coin cryptocurrency, right? We've all uh, digested that a little bit. So I think seeing something like this would make more sense, in which case we might see an initial immediate pop. Maybe we go to like the end of Q1, sometime in Q2, top off there, find a momentary high like we did this cycle. Everybody's going to say, oh, Dogecoin topped off last cycle before Bitcoin. This was the top. You know, have fun with the bear market. It's there. And then like it has really the two cycles before where it, it topped off two months after Bitcoin, where it topped off one month after Bitcoin instead of months before, I bet that's what happens, right? It probably gets a second leg um, going into this rally. And it, it probably tops off, if I really had to guess, sometime at the end of 2025, late Q3, maybe even late Q4, somewhere in that range. Um, but these are all things I think that are very important to talk about. Some of you might be by, might be thinking, okay, this is stuff that's far away. It's over a year from now. It's six months from now. I want to know the day-to-day -day stuff, the week-to-week -week stuff. This is all really important for the day-to-day -day stuff, the week-to-week -week stuff, because all this long-term stuff is saying that right now in your day-to-day, -day, your week-to-week, -week, like we are, we're ready. We're going up. Like, again, this is crypto. This is Dogecoin. Volatility happens. It is a volatile thing, right? Even on the way up, right? That was <laughs> that was a pretty straight shot up. But even on the way up, you had a pullback here of 56%, right? I think, you know, even if it moves up more, if you're patient, you probably get to buy either back at these prices or lower, probably lower if you're just patient. But again, don't let me stop you from buying, man. You're at 14.12 cents now. I very much do believe Dogecoin will be worth more than $2, probably more than $3 even by the end of the cycle. Uh, close to four, between four and five is what I'm expecting. But what would that be percentage-wise? Because I feel like I've measured this before and it was like a 30X, but from here it just seems like that would be so much larger. If we went to, if we went like right below four bucks, that's, that's a 27X. I don't know why, but to me, 14 cents to four bucks, it just seems like such a larger thing in my head, but it's only a 27X. Only 27X, I know, that's, it's still, it's still pretty phenomenal. Um, and again, likely Dogecoin will have an initial move that is a lot faster, probably outpacing the rest of the markets. Might be a good idea, I'm just spitballing here, might be a good idea to buy some Dogecoin when it tops off, roll that over into some like other coins and then when those things get going, sell those, take the profits. When Dogecoin pulls back, you know, roll it back into Dogecoin and let it let it fly on its on its uh, finale. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. Easier said than done, that's for sure. It takes takes execution and timing and preparation. But uh, I'd rather just buy it and hold personally. I think if you're just patient, you buy and hold. Uh, when it's all said and done, sometime late next year, I think you're going to see these prices, if not higher, right? Something like that. Uh, I'm repeating myself at this point without adding really any information. Daily RSI is overbought. Looks very, very strong though. Absolutely, it's it's very, very strong. Add an area where it would make sense to find resistance. If you were to find resistance here, based on the fibs, I'd expect you pull back to 12.8 cents, potentially down to 11.9 cents, which is just below 12 cents. So, so that's the area that I would guess that you'd pull back to if you were to pull back from here. If you were to continue moving higher, I think you'd probably go to about 15 and a half cents. And then again, that same pullback area stands. Yeah. Maybe you can move it up even a little bit. Maybe maybe we can move it up um, from here in this zone to specifically like this zone. But still, lower prices than we are now. So if, if you're patient, I think that you will be able to buy at lower prices around this most relative high. But you might have to endure prices moving up first. Let's see if it does do that. Let's see. It just it looks so bullish, man. It really does. It looks so damn bullish. Um, yeah, you probably move down from here a little bit, and then you then you keep moving up. 
We'll see. I don't think this is the move. I think this move down is going to be like one of these. I don't think it's going to be like one of these, right? This move, I think, will come in once you hit that 15 and a half cent area, you know, just like roughly, I don't know, something like that, right? Put it at 15 and a half cents right there. Pull all the way back down, boom, right there, 12.8 cents. Perfect. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm done. That's all I got to say. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more to make it very clear in case it wasn't very clear. Down, up down more, up more. That's that's the, the forecast that I got for Dogecoin. Take care. Bye-bye.